My name is Kyla Berry and today we are going to be discussing the many generations of UT alumni. We sat down with two alumni from class of 1992 and class of 2022. Let's take a look of what has happened to campus over the last 30 years. Hi, my name is Jim Callhorn. I'm a UT graduate from 1992. I'm Sammy Roebuck and I am in the class of 2022, just graduated in May with a journalism and electronic media major with an emphasis on sports broadcasting and an advertising and public relations minor. My major was retail consumer science, as it's known now. It previously was a degree in human ecology. I did a lot on campus while I was at UT. I did a lot of work with the Daily Beacon, including doing the weekly wrap up. And one of my biggest things was Vol News, where I was producer and reporter and anchor. I also worked with Chi Omega, as I'm an alum of Chi Omega, and was the campus director for a semester. I also worked with Society of Professional Journalists and became president, and was a member of PRSSA, among other things. The only thing I did extracurricular, really, with the university was intramural football. We did that for a couple seasons. The different experiences, I mean, the strip is different, but it's not that different. The um, uptown is not uptown anymore. It's like yesterday's or something. But that's honestly the only big difference. The, all the construction is always changing. There's always something new. And the student union new building was new while I was going there, which was very beautiful and a great addition to campus. The student union is incredible compared to what it looked like back then, but we didn't know any different. And attending UT in the 80s into a little bit of the 90s uh, was a great experience. The campus looked a lot different than it does now. Um, it's become a lot more student friendly, but it was a great time. The lifestyle on the strip was completely different than now. I've carried on qualities of being a ball probably by lifting people up and helping other students that are grades below me do what I was doing previously, that I left my positions in their hands and just helping them succeed in the position and be a light in my new job and to show what being a Tennessee volunteer is all about. Mostly about uh, your character and your friendship and how you treat others and just the sense of community. And I think no matter where I've been, it doesn't matter what airport or where you go, you'll always see somebody with a power tee or orange hat. And so just feeling that sense of connection, no matter where you are, is uh, always stuck with me. I'm absolutely proud to be alumni. I wouldn't want to have graduated from any other school. UT is actually the only school I applied to because I knew that I wanted to be involved. Very proud to be an alumni. It's always great to uh, meet other alumnus and catch up, especially with some of the others that were there during uh, you know, the time that I was at the university. Yeah, so UT applies, um, provides a lot of different opportunities to help you grow. As I got to intern for Peyton Manning and Omaha Productions, that was a really cool opportunity that was only supplied to balls. So if I was not a student at the University of Tennessee, I wouldn't have been able to get that internship. So I think the biggest thing with the preparation for real life and post-school and college was the ability to gain some independence and really have to think and schedule and you know prepare on your own without you know a push from your parents or somebody else to motivate you you had to become self-motivated to get things done and i think that that helped prepare more than anything going back to campus as an alum is such a unique experience and sec schools in general are just such big supporters of alum and alums are such big supporters of the school and that makes for a really unique experience as a student for different opportunities that people give you just because you're a student and you're learning at a school that they learn from and that they loved so they want to support you in that and so that's something that's really cool that UT has to offer. Football is my favorite memory by a long shot. I've always enjoyed going to the games and uh, it was a nice break from thinking about class and school with students and friends and just really enjoyed being in the student section and it was it was clearly my favorite memory. Our football game against, I don't remember who it was, but it was right after we got the new stadium lights and they did the whole 
orange and white flashy thing all over Neyland and the stadium was packed out and I have never heard Neyland be louder than it was in that moment and it was very cool to be there and experience that. So now I own a company called Graphic Creations that's uh, been around since 1987, started by my dad, which I actually worked here during college and um, came back to Tennessee in 2009 and was able to purchase uh, my dad's company and his partner. So been doing this since 2009 and we are a print management company right here in Knoxville. Now I work with WTVA, which is a station in Tupelo, Mississippi. And I get to cover Ole Miss football and Mississippi State and do news reporting as well as sports anchoring and reporting. So Graphic Creations has had the pleasure of uh, being a UT alumni corporate partner for the last three years and has been extremely rewarding and fulfilling to get reconnected with the university in a different level uh, and being a part of something that, you know, has shaped uh, my life.